Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video. So, when I initially started to do my reviews, especially when it came to uh, projectors, when it comes to projectors, there's always the features that uh, stand out each and every single time. You'll find the buttons, you'll find uh, the autofocus control, and you, even the power buttons, and some, some of them even comes with remotes that look similar. But I've never really reviewed a projector with this such design. I mean, if you look at it, it just looks like a toy. It looks like a robot. So this projector just completely looks different than any other projector that I've ever reviewed. So this is the Ollie Waver PR50 projector. It's a good projector. It has some things that I mean, kind of shocked me and some things that I really like. But before I even get into all that, if you're not subscribed, just make sure you subscribe, ring the bell so you can uh, get notifications for whenever I upload videos like this. I do other tech reviews, headphones, etc. Just so you can stay up to date. Let's get into it. So with this projector, I mean, if you look at it, 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 it honestly doesn't even look like a projector the only thing that gives it away that it is a projector is the lens at the front so with this projector there literally isn't any buttons the only button that it has is uh the switch to turn it on which that makes sense right like you may not always want to use the remote but other than that it literally isn't anything it just has the ports and that confused me initially right because i was like okay wait what if i want to focus the lens what if I want to uh, do other things like uh, change the settings and just play around with it? Like it, it really took me back a little where it's like, okay, the main functions of the projector either have to be automatic or have to be controlled by the remote. And that's where the projector's AI itself comes in. So yeah, it does do a lot of things automatically on its own. So it has autofocus, which is good in its own respect, right? Like you don't always want to play around with the projector. Like I've had projectors where, you know, like sometimes you can get a little annoying having to autofocus it yourself. So this one does that on its own. And at the same time, one of the things that I really liked about this projector that I thought was really cool, right? Like, so it's a, it also like, if it sees that there's an object in front of the sensor, it's going to recalibrate and, uh, display the image in a way where like it puts it where the image isn't getting obstructed and i thought that was pretty cool because uh, a lot of times like you'll be uh, aiming a projector and like a chair will be in front like just a little bit of shade not even like a lot just a little bit but you know it's going to destroy the whole uh viewing angles and it's just not gonna be fun anymore With this like it recalibrates now it's good like it's a great feature it's really cool but sometimes it did get annoying because like it just be like slight you know shade in front of it or like just a, a small object and like it'll just recalibrate and like change the whole thing which it it, it wasn't like that uh majority of the time like i say like eight out of ten of the times it was fine but there was a couple of times there was like okay you, you ain't gotta do that like it, it, it's fine but other than that like if you wanted to also uh just change the settings manually which is was something for me like if if it was just completely automatic everything on this projector I wouldn't have I wouldn't have liked that and I wouldn't have recommended it because it would just be too uh, one-sided, especially for everything just having to go to the projector. So if you wanted to uh, turn all those settings off, you can, and then you can uh, just uh, change the, the size of the screen manually or even focus it manually and uh, do that on your own uh, wishes and how you want uh, to build the projector. And another thing also, the projector, so since like it, it just comes like as is, I don't know, which better way to describe it um you you can't really change the viewing angles like a, a, unless you like put like a book under it or something like just change the angles and play with it you can't really do that like with this projector like the lens just comes uh s stiff as is and so the one thing i definitely would recommend with this uh, projector is 100 trillion percent you you might as well just go ahead and like put it on a tripod or something because then when it's on a tripod you can just angle it to how you see because the thing about this projector is like since it just comes uh, flat on the surface um it just it chooses to display the image how it wants to and then like unless you really want to go into settings and like change it that way you're not really going to be able to just uh change the angle to what you want to uh display now the thing about this projector is like it doesn't have like a ui like it, it it just has like the options that you can choose to uh watch your footage in so you, you can either airplay it from uh your phone or you can also do it on android 
or you can do it via HDMI, or you can do it like via, via media, the USB. And on one side, it's like, okay, it's not really a bummer, but it really just makes it so it's just like um, a one-dimensional or one-track type of pony projector because you then have to just either connect your laptop via HDMI. And, you know, like, I guess it's good that you can, like, airplay because a lot of times you, I don't want to be using cables, you know, like, cable, the, the, the less cables, the better for me, right? And the fact that you can connect via airplay is good. But it would have been nice also if you like you could download like Netflix or you could download the apps where they just go directly onto the projector and then from there you could just go ahead and like stream stuff you know because it can connect to the uh, internet so it would have been nice if you could do that but unfortunately you can't do that with this projector and the one thing uh, also like the, oh well, the most annoying thing I'd say is uh, that I kept running into is when it came to AirPlay like it was really buggy but at the same time like i'm still trying to get the ball rolling with this uh projector so you, you know when you're using a device fresh fresh off the box or even the first week or so it some things can just be a little like airplay for me was really buggy like it wasn't working to the capacity that i would have wanted it to work but it wasn't anything that like ruined the entire uh, experience for me but it was really annoying so if you want to use the projector out one trillion hundred million percent recommend you either just do it via hdmi or sometimes you just have to like buy it through like the annoying little like bugs sometimes where it just freezes and pauses whenever you use airplay and uh, surprisingly the sound quality in this projector is really good some projectors like one like the fan would be really loud which for this one i literally didn't hear the fan at all the entire time i was using it and that's one of the things that could like ruin experience when using uh projectors the fans would be yo they'll be so loud with like well, like, I might have to connect a speaker or something. But this, the, the fan is pretty much non-existent. Um, I guess maybe because it doesn't have, like, a UI, so it doesn't have to, like, use a lot of uh, capacity, whatever. But at the end of the day, the fan does not make any sound. But if you did want to use a speaker or connect anything, even your headphones, so you can, you can connect an aux jack. But if you just wanted to use it, like, straight as is, the audio is perfectly fine. So when it comes to the most important thing, especially for projectors, well, see, yeah, the most important things, hand down, hands down for projectors, is going to be the viewing. The test I do each and every single time is few projectors when there is uh, at least some daylight coming through, just to see how it functions. Because like you can't control the weather, you can't control the, uh, what time it is. And sometimes you might want to use it and like it's really sunny out. Or maybe you may be in a room that just like is is well lit, or a, a room that just unfortunately happens to get a lot of sunlight so one of my biggest tests is well how does it perform well, this projector i was actually surprised it was better than the previous projector i reviewed and that's good because when it comes to uh viewing angles especially when there's light getting in sometimes you can get a little faded and washed out and then you know that kind of kind of ruins the experience of using projectors where it like it just pretty much categorizes them as like nighttime devices where you only use them when the lights are off and it's completely dim and then that way that's the only time that they are uh, most uh, useful well this one like it's it, it was good like i'm not gonna say it was, like, it was as great as like as, as a tv when uh, there's the light coming in but it was really good the viewing angles were still great and you know honestly i wasn't expecting that if, if i'm being honest but that's good so coming down to the bottom line right so i think uh the viewing experience is great the fact that it's not a noisy projector and the sound quality is great but since there's no UI and uh, found like some bugs in there where it's like, okay, it's, it's it was annoying when connecting via airplane, like it worked, but sometimes it won't connect there. Where it's like, it, it's a good projector, I'd give it maybe like a six, seven out of 10, um, because it, it did a lot of things right. And it was a good projector. It's just the design is really different. My, take some getting used to since like not a lot of projectors are bit built this way like and it does try to do some things differently which honestly i take it as a positive because right now like it's in a phase where like companies are experimenting different ways trying to advance their products and, and yeah even though it's not working at full capacity yet where it's like a completely perfect there's still some glitches and bugs there i still think it's a pretty cool device but then again let me know what you think that's just my opinion Did you? I'm out.